I'm Bryson Fredericks, uh, Managing Director of um, Adelaide Fuel Distributors, um, a Caltex reseller. I started the business at Seaford, which is south of Adelaide, and we've expanded our business far south as Victor Harbour and also Port Wakefield in the north. Head office is at Cabin, approximately 20 kilometres north of Adelaide, where we operate our truck stop, administration office, lubricants warehouse, bulk storage and truck wash. We have seven service stations of our own, including our 24-hour sites and our head office. We have approximately 7,500 active customers and we supply commercial customers, the fishing industry, farmers, earth moving, transport and retail. Started the business in 1971. We did approximately 100,000 litres of heating oil per annum and 100,000 litres of motor spirit. And then in the 80s, business was just continuously growing as we went into bulk fuel. And from the 90s onwards up to 2014, here we are, we're doing 90 million litres on our own paper and uh, growing at about 14%. We've just built the, the new Roseworthy site and uh, that's been open for six weeks now. It's doing much better than our expectations because it, we weren't in marketing in that particular area and it's a part of the urban sprawl in the northern area of Adelaide. So we want to be there where the action starts. In 2007, the business was just growing and growing and I just couldn't cope with the actual managing the business myself and I needed someone to come in as general manager. Trevor Bayless and just had the expertise, he had the uh, Caltech background. His knowledge of the industry was just so good. An emergency occurred, having that walkway certainly makes that whole area a lot safer. No, that's great, isn't it? I'm, I'm very pleased about that. Just tops in the Bryson's one of those people that looks far ahead and is always looking for the next opportunity. But I was employed to do a job and that was to assist bring the company to the next level. So we talk about risk management, we talk about performance management of our employees and getting employee buy into the business. So not only do they feel part of the business, but they have some part of the decision making process. Jason is my son and he's the operations manager for the company. Been working with Dad for a bit over 16 years now. Look after the fleet and the maintenance and the, all the trucks and the servos and fuel bowsers. Probably more office work now. Yeah, in the last few years I've moved into the office a fair bit more, but still get out and about and still using the tools, is, that's what I love doing. She's all good to go. We started our uh, on-site refuelling business in uh, late 2013. We do a lot of large earth movers. They needed us to deliver on-site refuelling, so we thought, well, let's go and Caldex wanted to have uh, their own customers that wanted on-site refuelling, so we can also serve customers for Caldex. It allows us to grow our volume and build a better relationship with our customer long term. We are getting a lot of uh, inquiries about on-site refuelling just through our website. Sarah is my daughter, she's administration manager for the company, and also IT. So what was the last one done? 50 June, July and August. Okay. I think as a business we need to diversify. We're doing that now through on-site refuelling. We've also opened a safety shop. Adelaide Fuel and Safety, it's a diversification from our normal business. We actually see it as a value add to our customers. Not only do we sell lubricants and fuel, but we supply them with various safety equipment. The shop's doing really well. Safety on the job is such a big deal these days. People can come in and basically get everything that they need in the one-stop shop. We're looking at other potential locations that we could expand into the safety equipment. It complements our business well and we've got the right customer base and network. Peter Broadbridge is an ex caldex engineer and Peter is my oh &S risk manager and he's continuously auditing sites and our depots and even our bulk fuel deliveries. Our tanker fleet is something which we, uh, we pride ourselves in because we maintain it to an extremely high standard. 200 litres in there, empty tank, safe fill 15,000. We've got 10,000 so that'll fit just nicely. We train our drivers so that we can be assured when they deliver on site that the procedures that they follow are to the highest standards. I've been with the company for 27 and a half years. Safety aspect, big part of the company now. With the truck, I mean, back then our air conditioning was wind down the window. When it got hot, you wound the window down, and when it was cold, you wound the window up. So that was their, their comfort control. When I first joined Adelaide Fuel Distributors, Bryson put me aside and said, Trevor, I want to remain local. I've been successful because I've been local. Being in the community, 
are supporting the community, you're being seen as part of what's going on. We are successful because we're close to our customers. When I started the distributorship, I never threw the old pumps out. I always put them in a storage shed at the home. I've probably got one of the bigger collections in Australia of antique bowsers, going back to the 1920s. These are my favourite pumps. These are the Wayne's. They were the first pumps ever built in Australia. They probably still work today. I've got another four or five just finished off for me now to be delivered. I haven't asked the girls out in the office where we're going to put those ones yet, but... <laughs> Dad's input and perseverance in the industry has definitely been its success and also his passion. Well, at that stage of my life I still love what I do. I don't particularly want to retire at this point of time. I just want to enjoy myself a lot more, you know, have a lot of fun. I've got a lot of friends out there and I love playing golf. Oh, nice shot. Being out on a golf course, just in the environment, is just something I really love. I enjoy fishing. My grandsons are, and my sons are great fishermen, so whenever I can, I always take the opportunity to go with them camping and fishing. Di and myself here, we live on a couple of acres of land, and all the grandkids and that love coming and staying with us at our house because it's a great place just for kids to get out and have a good run around, climb trees and everything else. Going forward, we're always working on our succession plan in the business, the family, and where we want to go. I just love all my kids being in the business. I'm just so proud. It brings tears to me.